All right, ladies and gents, tonight's beer is Ridgeway Very Bad Elf. Now this is an English Strong Amber Ale. Oh boy. Now, uh, the other day, if you watched my beer review, I reviewed the Ridgeway Bad Elf, which is a, an English Pale Ale. And it was not very good. Um, very just dull, bland, um, and watery Pale Ale. It, it just was not what I was expecting. It had like, Pale Ales, English Pale Ales are known for a lot, a lot of very strong, hoppy, and multi flavors. It had none of that. It was just water. It was very disappointing. And honestly, I don't have much uh, high hopes for this one. Um, it's got some things going for it. It's labeled as a special reserve ale. I don't know what that really means. And it's also higher alcohol. Um, the, the standard Bad Elf is only 4.5%. This is 7.5%. Bit more going on. Might enhance the flavor. Also make me feel nice. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I don't really know. I don't know how this will be. Uh, and I guess we're about to find out. This is uh, actually the second of four beers that my buddy Rob gave to me for Christmas. So, thank you, Rob, once again. And, yeah, let's open it up and uh, check it out. Rob, this better be better than the regular Bad Elf, I swear to God. Uh, I got a nice uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon bottle opener here. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty old. Let's open it up. All right. Whoa, nice little hiss. Nice pop off. A little hard to use, very, very thin bottle opener. Oh, got a nice smell coming out of that. And uh, got a nice English pint glass and let's pour it in. I'm really hoping this one's better. It was rough to drink that whole whole regular bad off the other day. But we'll see. All right. So, as you can see, it's got a nice uh it's got a nice clear amber color. Um doesn't look too much different from the regular bad elf, probably a little bit darker. And it's got a better head than last time, still not great. Um not sure, really sure why. I haven't, I haven't gotten good heads on these uh these bad elves. So uh let's give it a whip and try it out. Definitely very um this one's very malty. Almost like a caramel kind of sweetness as well. Let's give it a taste. Um, yeah, still, these are just really watery beers. I mean, it's got like that nice amber, it's got that nice, uh, amber, um, malt flavor in there. Some nice malt bitterness, but still it's missing a lot. And it's kind of, and just kind of like a, an okay, like malt aftertaste. Yeah. Some nice sweetness too. I don't know. I don't know if I like this one better. It's kind of the same for me. The other one had some hops, which was going for it. I guess this one has a little bit more flavor, but I don't know, man. Is that everything? Yeah. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, these are not, these are not good beers. Um, it's just, it's very watery. Just, just nothing really to it. And it's got this sort of just like, the only thing that flavor wise that it has is just this kind of bitter malty aftertaste, which just doesn't really sit right and just kind of like lingers for a while. It's yeah, this isn't good. The bad elf and the very bad elf are pretty much the same for me. It has a slight alcoholic edge to it as well. Yeah, um, not great. Um, both bad elves were not, have not been stellar beers, uh, but hey. Rob gave me two more to review, and those ones are those ones are actually high quality beers. I, I I know. I, well, we'll talk about why once I talk when I get to them. But yeah, um, I don't think I'm ever gonna try. I'm never gonna try uh, beers from Ridgeway again. These are just not. These are not good. So yeah, I don't recommend. Um, just very watery and really nothing to them. Yeah.